Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel and it's time to start working on the nose swap on the F-350. On this episode, we're going to start removing a bunch of stuff on the nose, hood, fender, grill, bumper, all that stuff. And we're going to do the same thing on the F-250 right behind there. And then we're going to see if we can mock things up and see how they sit. So basically I'm going to remove stuff on the F-350-01 and then I'm going to start removing things from this truck and then kind of mocking it up on my truck. Uh, and I know some, a lot of things I'm not going to line up because I still need the brackets, which I didn't order yet. I'm going to order them probably in a day or two. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to see uh, how it sits, how it looks. And then once I get the brackets, then I'll, and then I'll finalize everything else. So I'm not sure how much I'll be able to do on this episode. I've never done a swab before on the no swap on the Super Duties, but we'll try it out and see how it goes. And here's what we got with the F-350. Everything is gone and sold, so there's no turning back now. So, I mean, I'm kind of glad that I was able to sell everything uh, at the same time. That way I'm not dealing uh, piece by piece, trying to sell it to each person, trying to get my money back. And I got a pretty good price for the bundle, so I'm pretty happy with that. So, uh, she's still looking good. Engine base still looking nice and clean. Uh, no oil leaks anywhere. I do want to find the original uh, reservoir. I heard aftermarket ones are not that good and they start cracking over time. So let me know if you guys seen anybody selling uh, the factory clear ones for a good price and I'll probably pick one up just so it's gonna, it's gonna make the engine bay look a lot uh, nicer. All right, so here's what I decided to do. I decided to actually uh, move the F-350 out of the way and then move the 250 out of this spot. I'll, we'll talk about the dash in a minute. Uh, but the reason is because if I start working on the F-350, it's going to be blocking the F-250. And I want this thing uh, going back to auction maybe in a week or so. So I'm going to remove everything that I need for my project, for my F F-350. Uh, once I start doing the dash on my truck, the O-1, uh, then I won't be able to drive it because, you know, stuff is going to be disconnected. It's going to take a while to do all that stuff. And plus I was going to remove door panels and interior panels and all that stuff because I'm going to be eventually upgrading that. So basically because I'm going to be working on my truck, this truck won't be able to get out and I want to remove everything that I need from this truck and then send it back to auction probably within a week or so just because I don't want it sitting here taking up space and then you know plus I'll probably get maybe I don't know a couple couple thousand dollars back for it. Let's move the F-350. We're going to do a cold start. She hasn't been started in a while. And then we're going to talk about the dash because that's going to take a minute to explain what's going on with that. All right, let's get do a cold start on the F-350, move it out of the way, and then move the F-250 from behind there, and then put this grill back.
All right, so here's what I'm gonna try to do on this truck now. I'm gonna try to remove the grill, the bumper, uh, headlights, and fenders. And you can probably tell on this, from this angle, the fender is pretty dented on this side. I didn't think it was gonna be that bad, but it is what it is. I'm gonna have to use it for now until I find a good driver fender. Looking from this angle, it's gonna look pretty bad even if I try, try to straighten it out. In order to remove the fenders, I'm gonna have to remove the wheel well on the inside. The grill goes first, then the bumper. I think maybe the headlights go out first, and then the fenders are last. That's how I did it on mine anyways. I did the grill first, bumper. No, I think I did the bumper, then the grill. I'm gonna be uh, using all of these panels right here. Uh, the seat belt panel. I might even use the seat belts. I'm gonna get them rebuilt because I want the gray ones or whatever they are, dark, gray, whatever. Because mine are tan. Uh, the kick, the kick panel right here. I'll be using. Also the grip uh, pillars on both sides. I'll be using those, and I'll be using the driver uh, pillar hand um, grip as well because uh, it's gonna be a lot easier to climb in the truck. It seems a little loose. But anyways, uh, so I'll be deleting my the pillar gauge on my on my truck, and I'll have a boost gauge inside the cluster. Right, and from the back, I'll be removing all these panels on the back here as well. And yeah, that's a TV right here. My dad got a new one. This one broke. Supposedly, I don't know what's wrong with it, but he said to go ahead and throw it away or whatever, do with it. And uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and check it out, see what's going on. If it works, it works. I might just put it in the garage somewhere, put on some clips, some clips here and there. Uh, so for the from the back panel, I'll be removing all these panels as well on the back uh, To match my interior. I'm gonna be removing those panels on the back here where the seat belt is I'm gonna be reusing those seat belts on the back as well. They work on the back They work, but it's the front ones that are stuck So I'm gonna see if I can rebuild the stuck the front ones rebuilding them is about 60 bucks and I think new there may be like a hundred bucks So uh, we'll see how that works out uh, headliner is pretty dirty, but I think it's usable. Wisers, I'll be using those. Uh, it's missing the cap right here. So uh, I did buy a steam cleaner, so I'm going to see if I can uh, clean these up on the episode where I'm going to be doing uh, the dash swap. Now let's go ahead and talk about the dash and why I picked up another one. Now this dash is a manual transmission dash. So we got the column. We don't have the shifter on the column, so that's good. It doesn't have the shifter, the 4x4 shifter over here, so that's good because I don't need that. My truck has a shifter on the floor, uh, so that's already a benefit. Steering wheel on that truck, on the donor truck, is pretty bad. This steering wheel is pretty good, and that steering wheel does not have the cruise control. This one has cruise control, so this is a 8 to 10 dash. So the wiring on this is going to be a little bit easier to do. On uh, 11 and newer, the wiring is completely different. Uh, the column is different, uh, the instrument cluster is different. So there's going to be a lot of differences. And I think even the, the climate control buttons and plugs are different. So I'm still learning. Honestly, there's still a lot of things that I need to learn on how to do this because i never done it. So it's going to be something new for me. Uh, but I picked this one up for 600 bucks and it comes with airbags obviously on there and the steering wheel and it comes with a wiring harness and everything but I don't need the wiring harness because I'll be reusing my O1 harness on the back here because you basically what you do is you run up run your stock harness in the back and then you figure out all the plugs for the cluster for the steering column and all that stuff now there's a company called swap helper I'm gonna be uh, working with them and with the products that they're gonna be using I'm gonna show you guys how that how that's gonna go they have a uh, swap helper for the cluster also for the steering column and they're working on the light switch helper as well so it's gonna be three different things they're gonna be separate uh, but that's gonna be you know in the, on a different episode obviously because I'm not gonna be doing the dash swap right now I want to finish the nose swap get rid of the donor truck and then concentrate on the dash swap and then the interior panels so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, remove stuff from the F-250. See how much I can remove and see if we can mock things up. I know things are not going to fit. I am uh, ordering stuff from McNasty Customs. All the brackets for the front here, for the top here. 
uh, and also the templates that they have on what needs to be cut out over here and then on this side for the headlight to fit in and also I think they have a template for the frame rails because that's going to be uh, I believe it's going to be trimmed a little bit and then there's a bracket that gets welded in. Like I said, this is new to me. It's something that I'm learning and I watched quite a bit of channels on YouTube. Uh, McNasty Customs, I learned quite a bit on, uh, from them on the no swap, dash swap. Also, E4 Motors, Zach, he did some pretty good videos on explaining all the swaps and this and that. And also, King Shaka Customs, Jimmy, he uh, he has a pretty good channel as well and they, they all post up pretty good videos and honestly if you want to do no swap dash swap whatever uh, those are the channels to check out all right so let's go ahead and remove a few things from this truck put them on my f-350 and see how they sit <music> from the F-250 is removed with the exception of the hood because I don't think I can actually just plop that on there just for fun I gotta actually be careful with it so that's what we got on the F-250 stuff is removed I mean it was a mess this stuff uh, was foamed in or glued into the fender so that was kind of a pain in the butt to get to pretty dirty which is pretty dirty and then from this truck I'm also gonna need the radiator reinforcement as well and that's going to be modified a little bit later in order to fit the grill and the headlights and all that stuff and that's what we got on the f-350 she's almost done i mean looking pretty good uh the fender i just kind of put on there on one bolt looks pretty good actually uh obviously the fenders line up because this year will line up obviously i need the brackets and uh, i was thinking to make my own brackets obviously like little little angles in here and bolt that up but McNasty's uh, brackets are gonna look look a lot better. So that's what we got on this side. The grill I just kind of put on there carefully. But that's kind of at least we're having some kind of idea of what she's gonna look like. This fender is obviously a little bent, so but I'm gonna install it for now, and then until I find a new one. So I'm gonna install this one. The bumper on the bottom is a little bit bent. I'm just gonna install it anyways, and. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to wait for the brackets to come in and then we're going to finalize the installment of the fenders and the, the grill. And then also the cowl, plastic cowl is going to be different. The motor under here is going to be, I'm going to have to redo the motor. So we're going to deal with that later. Uh, before I do the hood, I'm going to have to remove this, remove the windshield wipers. Because uh, I don't think the, foot is, the hood is going to fit on there nicely. So guys, that'll be it for this episode. Part one is complete. And on part two, I should have the brackets in in order to finish the install on the front. Hopefully, we'll see how that goes. So guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're new, please subscribe because there's gonna be more content coming up on the, on the F350 and swaps and all that stuff. All right, hit the like button. Let me know in the comments what you think and we'll see you on the next one.